I found this teapot sitting on my mom's microwave and you just find anything to paint. So I'm starting here by drawing an oval for the top of the teapot and the little knob for the top of it. And don't worry about perfection, it's just a sketchbook and we're just trying to get the idea and we're practicing. So add on the spout of the teapot. All teapots are different and so if yours looks a little different, there's a teapot out there that looks like yours, I guarantee it. And here I am drawing the, the little design on the teapot. Just draw the design the best that you can do and however it turns out is your new design for your teapot. Adding in some darker lines for some accentuation to bring the teapot's accents out a little bit more. Just darkening a few of the lines and now I'm going to wet the entire teapot with water and add some shading without filling in the whole teapot because the glass is reflecting the light. So just where it looks like it's darker to you, you add some shading in and just let it blend out and going to put some blue on for the design, the little blue flowers. And continue adding shading here and there, but not everywhere so that you can see the reflections of light. So I'm adding a rectangle of color beneath the teapot to look like it's sitting on something. Also add some darker pigment of the paint underneath the teapot and let it blend out as a shade. Here I am drawing the little flower pot. Also, I just looked around and I found these flowers and I thought they would be interesting to draw and paint. And these are very forgiving, so you just draw the little rectangle for the pot and then put some of the lines up for the waving paper that's covering the pot. And then look at the leaves that are closest to you and draw those. And then add in some stems and some flowers and however your petals turn out, just let them turn out however you draw them. And then here I am just adding in the lightest color first. So it's a light wash of the yellow and the light brown and of the light pink and orange. Whatever paint you have you use, just whatever colors you feel like using. And then use a darker blue or a purpley color with mixed with red for the shading of the flowers. And also use a darker green. I mix blue and a darker green together and just add the darker shades in here and there for where it's the darkest right there as I'm adding it in and I was going to eat a few muffins and I decided to sketch them first and they turned out so cute um, you just and then it was a little jar a gift that was given to my mom from one of her grandchildren so I decided to sketch that as well the muffins are just painted with a light brown or a light yellow first, first a yellowish color, and then you add in the browns for shadows, just here and there, never filling in the whole picture with it, but um, leaving light areas where it's light. And adding in some background rectangles for color and a shadow underneath to show that it's sitting somewhere. And I think I captured a real nice indication of everything that I sketched and here it is it's my day at my mom's yep this is the completed picture a teapot and a pot of flowers my muffins and the little gift that was given to my mom and you can paint anything I thank everybody for watching I love you all and I will see you in the next video